Hello everyone from the Kingdom of Cambodia. I'm actually feeling pretty sick right now, so that's why I'm doing this video tonight. I was gonna try and wait until more information came out, but I thought might as well do it while I'm feeling a little better. My girlfriend has been really, really sick and I might have what she has, but I'm hoping I didn't get it as bad. So let's see how this week goes. But today what we're gonna be talking about is obviously domestic abuse and amaranth and all that drama around her finally showing everyone her really, really abusive husband. And most people didn't even know she had a husband. There was speculation, I think like a couple months ago, but he purposefully told her that she had to portray herself as single to help with her online career. And she is one of the most successful Twitch streamers. Even me, who doesn't really use Twitch, um, I use it for some political streams. She's always recommended to me on Twitch, like on the top streamers with other people like her son and stuff like that. So I am aware of her. And of course I'm aware of her because people are really butthurt about her success. When Twitch recently announced that they're gonna be changing like the payments for creators, people were like, well, Twitch used to be about video games and gaming streams, and now it's about pretty girls in hot tubs and they're ruining the platform. I just think there's a lot of misogyny in the jealousy towards people like Amaranth, but now we realize that a lot of her success and her content has been driven by her terrible husband from what we've seen from what she played us on you know, the stream. We're gonna go through that and the text messages and stuff like that. You guys have probably seen a lot of videos just covering this and this video isn't gonna be monetized, but I just wanna talk about like the general reaction to her and you know the very visible evidence and stuff and how online discourse around this stuff is pretty terrible. I will say I have been surprised at how many people have come out in support of her and stuff compared to maybe other people recently, but I guess there is a bit of irony. So many streamers who massively grifted off the Amber Heard stuff are now pretending they care about domestic abuse when they literally use the Amber Heard case to whip up, you know, hysteria about believing no women when it comes to abuse. You know, there's a couple massive streamers I'm thinking about when I'm saying that. So I find that a bit ironic, but generally, you know, I'm happy that she's got a lot of support with coming out of her claims against her husband and the very real tangible evidence. And then I just wanna talk about generally just like misogyny and like sex work and all that different stuff in the reaction to this stuff because some of it from other Twitch streamers and other online creators has been absolutely unhinged. A lot of people saying that it's her fault for lying to her fans that she's single and like ripping them off apparently. But at the same time, haven't we just seen that her husband made her do this? So apparently women in really abusive relationships doing stuff is like all their own fault apparently. So we're gonna get into all of that. Uh, I normally like plug my Patreon and everything uh, here and my social medias, but because this is more serious, I'm not gonna do that. I will say I have been promising the Vietnam video for patrons. We were gonna film it this weekend, but we're just really sick, so we couldn't do it. We're gonna film it this week and I'm gonna work hard to get that up. And then for every country you go to, we're gonna make a new video talking about it. So stay tuned for that. I am really sorry for people that I've been promising on Patreon that I'm gonna make this video. It's just, you know, circumstances, getting used to a new country and stuff. I've been really busy. So anyway, stay tuned for all of that stuff. And let's get into the video. A lot of you people might not be familiar with Twitch, but you might be seeing this drama going around. Basically, Amaranth is one of the biggest streamers, allegedly makes like $1.5 million every single month, I think just from Twitch, but also has like a successful OnlyFans and stuff. She's been around for a while. And of course, people hate her because she's a woman who shows her body on the internet and makes a lot of money, so they're quite jealous. So like I said, I do believe there's a lot of misogyny going into this, but now let's get into the recent drama. Now there are gonna be timestamps in the description. Lots of you would have seen this clip and seen these clips from her stream. So feel free to move ahead. But for those of you who haven't, we're just gonna go through this quickly. And before we get into any of this, massive, massive trigger warning. A lot of people are saying all this drama reminds them of like abusive exes and stuff. It is really hard to listen to the first video. So if you're really sensitive to that stuff, it's very triggering for you, please at least don't watch this part, maybe watch future parts in the video, but I would say maybe stay clear of the whole subject. As someone who's had like a fair few family members in really terrible, abusive relationships, it does remind me a lot of what I heard about those relationships as well. So despite the more like black mirror dystopian aspect of it in terms of being, you know, this streamer and OnlyFans model, I think the issues you're gonna hear about are very, very real 
in like so many domestic abuse cases. So just keep that in mind. And let's get into the evidence of her abuse that she showed on stream. So I'm gonna show you the clips, but just insider reporting. Living in a fancy prison, Twitch and OnlyFans star Amaranth revealed she is married and accused her husband of emotional abuse forcing her to stream. She revealed that she's married on stream on Saturday while talking to her husband on the phone live during that stream. Video was then removed from her channel, but the clips are online. And we're gonna go through these clips. So thankfully, someone has saved the clips even though they're off her channel. So Guard Hunter tweeting, Amaranth has revealed that she has a husband along with revealing his abuse. He has threatened to kill her dogs, take all of their money and forced her to stream. So this is probably like the worst part of it because the husband's actually on the phone. So let's go through this first clip before moving on to the rest. Why did you say you were going to kill my dogs? Leave the house. Okay, I can leave the... I, you know what? Actually, I don't... I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. You're asking the question I'm telling you and you're interrupting my fucking... Uh, like telling you. Literally. Literally. What are you saying? You just told me you were going to kill dogs if I didn't do a 24-hour stream. Nope, did not say that. Now you're just fucking being a liar. I'm not I just... Said it. I said I'm going to tell you what I said in terms of the earlier. Are you saying you did not say that? I tried to tell you what I heard from you. And you then you called me a liar. Then you tell me what did you say? What are you even talking about? You brought up the dogs out of nowhere! Exactly. So what, point. what point is there in proving? See? You're just proving my point right now. What? I'm yeah. asking you! Yes. I don't even understand what you're saying to me! I know. That's my point. My point is... Are you listening or not? If you're not, then get the fuck out! I'm literally listening, but you're not making any sense! So just to cut in before we read more of the stream, of course that is really disturbing and people even doubting her stories and stuff when you can clearly see right there the tone of how he's speaking to her and gaslighting her like literally live on stream that he said that he's going to kill her dogs if she doesn't do a 24 hour stream and then saying to her on the phone, I didn't say that, I didn't say that when he clearly did say that and as it's going to become clear, he actually controls all of her finances as well and he had controls a lot of her career for his own monetary gain. He actually gets all the money from these streams. So it's insanely disturbing. But like I said, with that like little clip there, you can see you know, so many traits of domestic abuse and so many stories that are so, so similar to that. Like I said, in my own family, you, know, you hear stuff like this all the time, controlling finances. When there's children involved, it's even more complicated as well, just using these things to manipulate. So uh, let's get on to the next part. So. He forced her to continue saying she was single and commit to being a hot tub streamer. So this is her talking about that. The therapist even told him that it's a form of like psychological abuse and that I'm basically living in a fancy prison. And then he was changed for a bit. And then the hot tub matter arose and he was like, oh, this is an opportunity. And then he turned into an asshole again when I agreed to commit to the grind because it was a good financial opportunity for us. I've been wanting to tell people that like, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. It's a fighting all the time. But no, Mr. I don't, know, I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. You don't want, you want me to tell them I'm single? It's about to be true, piece of shit. Maybe with one million and I'm going to take the rest because... I worked harder than you. It's like, and if you don't agree, then I'm gonna burn it all in court. I'm gonna put it all in fucking crypto. There's always threats, always threats. All the fucking accounts are like two factor under his number, and all the. He has all the, like the login information of things, you know? It's like the. Keeps you there with the fear and the threats. And you fear that you're gonna do something to your animals. And then he's nice again and says that everything's gonna be okay. So for people who don't really understand why he'd even say, you know, say you're single, a lot of the time with these parasocial relationships, part of it is, you know, guys think they have a chance uh, when they subscribe to people's OnlyFans or watch people on Twitch. It's really delusional, but to a lot of guys, 
they like a woman more um, when they're single. I've seen a lot of people who say who, you know, run Twitter accounts and stuff like that. When they come out and say they're in a relationship, they lose a lot of followers because some guys are absolute psychos and they're trying to live, you know, through not having a healthy relationship themselves by giving money and thinking they're in some sort of real relationship with these Twitch streamers and stuff. It is really, really weird, but, uh, you know, apparently it is a thing and apparently it works. So that's why he was hiding it to make even more money off his wife. And then as you saw there, she's talking about he controls all the finances as well. So he's enriching himself of his wife's work and then threatening, if you do anything wrong, if you hurt me, if you maybe even break up with me, I'm going to burn all the money, put it onto crypto. You're not going to get any of it because I own all the login details. And then also obviously she's referring to him threatening to kill her dogs if she doesn't stream as much as he wants. You know, proper, proper psychotic shit. And again, we heard the guy. We heard how he is on the phone to her. And then people are seriously doubting what she's saying is true. And then finally, one more clip that's going around that Guard Hunter posted um, of his text messages to her and her reading through them. When I say plan, do it. Dumb fuck, do you understand? Like, what plan are you talking about? It's like, fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't, and I tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi Fi. I don't care. You get the call now. Last chance. About to dump your luggage. You know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony. Proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or the, or the the live view, like the stream epic, or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. Lag is terrible, stream is garbage. It's like, about to delete Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, your phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Gonna donate $250,000 to pull Missy. He's like a bird sanctuary he likes. So yeah, there you see the text messages of him threatening to get rid of all her stuff, destroy all her stuff you know donate loads of their money give loads of their money away and delete her social medias as well like proper proper psychotic shit and it's clear like he has been managing his career from behind the scenes the whole time just for his own enrichment like there is domestic abuse and then there is like these sorts of levels where he's not only using the financial leverage to keep her in the relationship he's also just fat out enriching himself off all her work like people who watch her and subscribe to her content don't even know she's in a relationship and he's the guy making all the money off her content. It's absolutely some of the craziest and sickest shit I've seen just, you know, covering anything on YouTube and Twitch. I've never seen anything like this. And like I said, you've watched that stuff now. I've shown you it. How do you feel about it? How do you react to that? Like gut reactions to that. And we heard the guy as well. It's not like these are leaked DMs or leaked Twitter messages, which would be bad enough. We have heard her speak about it. We've heard the guy speak. And it seems pretty on brand from what he was saying that he'd be an absolute psycho and say all this shit to her. Now, of course, a lot of people, like I said, came out and supported her. Of course, when you watch that, it's absolutely terrible. And while people don't know much about the situation right now, apparently police did check up on her and they can't say anything about it, but she's okay, like physically and stuff. Because of course, when you have a guy like that, who's you know, threatening to kill your dogs, how many women are killed by their partners. It's really, really scary stuff. So you hope, you know, for the foreseeable future, she's okay and stuff like that. But you know, the internet is terrible. And because she's a woman for one thing, but also a sex worker and like a hot tub streamer and stuff, people are having some fun with this and making a lot of jokes in it. You know, what we watched was actually really hard to watch. That's why I gave a trigger warning at the start. So I want to get into some of the just horrible, horrible reaction from some men. And like I said, surprised at how much this isn't as common as I thought it would be, but still pretty crazy. So this one has been going viral. You guys would probably have seen this, but Keemstar, you know, very, very moral guy right here. Let's listen to what he has to say about this. Amaranth told her chat about her husband, who has been in control of her bank accounts, taking the money, also threatening to kill her dog. Okay, yeah, that's really bad. Guys online been donating to her for years without realizing the money was going to her husband. Clearly husband is abusing, she showed the text, but Amaranth herself has scammed so many guys online claiming she was single for years. These Twitch streamers don't care about their viewers, they all just use you and your low IQs to fill their pockets. And Keemstar in two tweets said that they didn't realize they're actually enriching the husband, but then it's her fault. And this is just like the bizarre double standard and how people don't understand 
abusive relationships, right? Because in his mind in these tweets, you know, she decided to be single. And you can see in those clips, she was saying to her husband, why don't we just tell everyone? He, he's the one who made her do this, right? In this abusive relationship where he controls everything, he made her do this. And that's how we should view it. He made her do this. Not that them two sitting together, rubbing their hands, being like, oh, what if I said I was single? Again, really terrible that you'd watch those clips and that was your reaction. Like, she scammed people by saying she's single. Then you have the bizarre element of why do so many guys have to feel like they have a chance of her to watch her content? But sadly, that is the reality for some people. They only like watching these people if they think they have a chance of them. It's really, really sad. And then more. Also, Amaranth for years, go praise for being a genius businesswoman. Based on this new information, the hidden husband behind the scenes was the one making all the business moves. So like, is that seriously what we're gonna talk about right now? Like, who is the business genius? Who could make as much money by being really unethical? Oh, the husband did it. That means, you know, Amaranth isn't a business. Again, weirdest thing to focus on right now. Just seems like I said, jealousy and misogyny. Like he's using this opportunity to try and bring her down and try and, you know, say bad stuff about her and respond to positive things said about her, like she's a great businesswoman or something like that, because it's revealed she's been terribly abused by her husband. You have to be a terrible person to even think like this. But then he tries to clarify, because he's become the Twitter main character of the day, which he probably likes, to be honest. And he says, I've been getting a lot of tweets saying I support Amaranth for getting abused. No. Or that I'm supporting her abuser. No or that I'm victim blaming. Also, no, I was just making the point that I don't feel like any creator should lie to their fan base for money. It's wrong. Was this guy born yesterday? I mean, based on his taste in women, maybe he was, but does he not understand how abuse works? Like he thinks she, out of her own choice, decided to lie for money. Not that she's in a controlling abusive relationship where her husband threatens to kill her pets, threatens to get rid of all her money and threatens to delete her social media because he has the login details and he controls all of it, right? So if you're faced with that choice, do you think it's honestly her choice? She is choosing to lie or is she in a really fucked up situation? Because that is my read on it. And then of course, Backs down, I deleted the whole Amaranth thread. Too many people are making bad faith arguments, manipulating what I said and straight lying. I also need to take some responsibility for not communicating my points better. I'm going to respond to this tomorrow on the Keem show. So Keemstar, you can just like say nothing or just report on it and not give some horrendous opinion which says so much about you. Doesn't this guy also like have children and stuff? And that's been quite common with the people who've come out and said really horrible stuff they have children and some of them have daughters as well. And don't you feel so sad for them that they see this woman being terribly abused and they think it's funny to like crack jokes about it or make ridiculous points about how she's a con artist and a scammer when they've just found out it's her husband been forcing her to do all this stuff, you know, saying stream for 24 hours or I'm going to kill your pets, right? So Again, it's her choice to scam people apparently by saying she's single. Like how is that even scamming people in the first place? And then some other guy, your fellow Arab, apparently some sort of streamer and comedian, hilarious guy. So going into the clip I showed you, Amaranth has had a husband this whole time. Yeah, I've been gifting thousands of tier threes every month. I doubt he's been doing this. He's trying to tell a stupid joke. How do you charge back on a credit card? And then he goes on to talk about like some other stuff like pretending you know, he supports her and stuff like that. Then he gets absolutely ratioed and he's like, good morning. Y'all got to read the replies on this shit. They're so good. And then obviously everyone roasting him in the comments saying like, you know, you're just trying to cope with being the Twitter main character as well. But can you just imagine watching that and thinking like as a man, it's okay to make a joke about it. Like pretend you're like one of her biggest simps or something. You've been given her loads of money and now you're really upset because she actually has a husband this whole time. Again, I don't know if these people are just absolutely terrible people or they're just trying to be like funny in the moment because it's popular, you can get some clout off it. But again, how fucked up do you have to be to not even read the situation where you think that people will read that tweet and be like, oh my God, you're so funny. We didn't just watch a woman in tears be abused by her husband on stream and her detail her horrific abuse that's actually a chance to make a joke. Again, you think people will agree with you. That's why I think it's so bizarre that Keemstar and this guy, they think people will agree with them. They think generally most men are happy enough to be very, very vocal and saying shit like that 
when they hear gross domestic abuse. And again, we're gonna get into another guy who apparently has kids as well, which is lovely. So there was a guy going viral called Mo. I'd never heard of this guy. Again, I'm not a big Twitch guy, uh, but he was watching this video as well on stream. So get a load of this little clip that's also been going viral. It was recorded when he, if he wants to really prove a point to her like that, he should record himself and her talking, say the fucked up thing he said, and then play it back to her later to say, see, this is exactly what happened, but you don't remember because you were emotionally triggered. But um, still, like, it doesn't but give him the right. Me, but I don't know why this you fight know, is a fight. You didn't say it. You're being crazy. That's what you did. Listen, it's okay to be emotionally frail. It's okay. It would be even better if you just accepted and admitted it instead of being so defensive. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Oh, like, I'm trying to like focus on the tears, but I keep looking down and I'm not trying to look at her cleavage, but it's just such a big part. Like I've been even focusing on this thing on the left, this box on the left, trying to like get my mind off of it. But like, dude, this, the cleavage is just there. So again, absolutely gross. You're seeing a woman crying while her husband is abusing her and then you're talking about her, her boobs basically. And you're saying how you can't pay attention to the situation because you're looking at them. Again, apparently this guy has a daughter and stuff. What a gross piece of shit. And it's just amazing that people like this, Twitch streamers, think people will like them for this. They think, they say this. There's not even one moment that they, where they think, I'll oh, better not say this. Even in terms of like a self-preservation thing, being like, people won't like this, even if I think it. They're just like, nah, people won't mind. I'll make a joke about a woman. I'll objectify a woman while she's bawling her eyes out while her husband insanely gaslights her and is horribly abusive again i'm glad these people are becoming the twitter main characters but sadly because these people are prominent creators all the ones i've shown you it's probably not surprising that a lot of nobodies have also been tweeting similar stuff people saying she's like amber heard people saying you know we've got to hear the husband's side of things as if we didn't just hear him screaming down the phone and texting that he's going to murder her dogs and ruin her whole life basically so let's get into some of the more like absolutely unhinged reaction before talking about this a bit more so just some shit like this if you type in amaranth it's probably different now but this is when i typed in on twitter earlier today guys guys do not believe amaranth didn't you learn a thing from the amber heard case we should listen to her but do not believe her yet until we get all the info uh, more stuff real or scripted amber heard vibe someone in her subreddit saying yeah and he seemed like an asshole whatever the situation is there needs to be a lot more to come forth to really determine what's happening just like johnny depp versus amber heard i want to make a video a bit more about this johnny depp amber heard thing where now everyone thinks that even if there's extremely clear evidence of domestic abuse like literally live on a twitch stream they've got to act like it's the same situation as Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. And that's why it leaves a bad taste in my mouth to see some of these Twitch streamers like Asmund Gold talking about how fucked up the situation is when they whipped up this hysteria about Amber Heard where now people won't actually believe Amaranth because he grifted off his trial, shaped the narrative about this trial, and now this is the result. And they take no responsibility for it have no introspection where they think, you know, this environment they've created is there for. It's just like, I'm going to now grift off this thing and pretend I care about women when I literally made my whole streaming career basically off grifting off the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. More people saying, I can't help but not feel sorry for her at all. Why would you marry a guy who reacts like this? Literally a tantrum. Take this to court and not the internet. So this is like a common thing you see with people responding um, to domestic abuse. It's like, why didn't you just leave? Why don't you just leave the guy? Like, if I was you, I would have just left him. What a psycho. And which is even more bizarre to me in this instance, because we've seen her talk about how he literally controls her entire life through threats of violence, through threats of destroying her whole, you know, finances. And this guy's acting like, oh, you should have just left. You know, you should have just left. Not that this guy seems insanely unstable. And like I said, most women are killed by people they know. There are so many cases of domestic abuse that turn into homicides. So again, all that stuff mixed into one and you're acting like this is a relationship. She can just walk away from and block this guy out of her life forever like it's no big deal. So more shit like this. Women who do sex work attract these sorts of men and permit this behavior by commodifying themselves. You intentionally made yourself into a digitized hooker and were rewarded with an e-pimp. So apparently it's her fault. Sex workers deserve being treated like this because they're sex workers and commodify themselves, which is absolutely hilarious language. 
considering in a capitalist system, we all commodify ourselves to actually make money in the first place. But again, shaming her because she's a woman, a sex worker, blaming her. And this is a common sentiment I actually saw online that she's basically asking for this abuse because she shows her body online. Something about this seems more than sus. A lot of this shit here that doesn't add up. You want to give abuse victims the benefit of the doubt, but there's something about this that's making it seem like an elaborate act. I can't stand women that do this. Attention, attention, attention. Yeah, it definitely seemed like a cry for attention and not a cry for help. W, husband. This comment section is full of simps. She admitted lying, showing boobs to get money. She accused someone else for her lies. She cried because she might only have one million left. Simps, poor her. She's abused. Again, what type of man or boy do you have to be to watch those clips and read those texts and this is your take? So I didn't want to sit here for the rest of the video just reading like horrible comments I found on Reddit and Twitter. And like I said, thankfully, the general reaction I have seen online has been supportive because, you know, when you see stuff like that, like how can you not sympathize with her if you're like a pretty well-adjusted person who isn't a misogynist, but then you have the whole elements of people thinking she's asking for it. Of course, she must be asking for it. She's a hot tub streamer. She has OnlyFans, so she can't complain when she attracts a trash guy, apparently. And all this stuff about her scamming people for saying she, you know, is single. Even if she made that conscious decision to say she was single on her own, it's not a scam. Like, what do you think? You're paying for a date with her? You're paying to be her boyfriend or something like that? Again, that needs a whole separate video. But I just think the way people often understand abuse is so like crazy and naive to me. And obviously, you know, you might be this far in the video and you've suffered domestic abuse yourself and stuff like that. I said, I've had people in my family who have. And when you have people in your family and even known family members who have like terrible relationships with men, for example, not even, you know, husbands with and having children all of it just horribly abusive men there are so many things that go into it to make women especially feel like they can't leave amaranth's case is just a great example of why it's so hard to leave and that's more extreme case right because he controls everything about her life and it's more dystopian like black mirror in that he forces her to stream to enrich himself or threatens to hurt her or ruin her life but in just general relationships people often think well if that was me if i was being abused then I'd leave like that, like no problem. I'd you know kick that guy, I'd kick that woman out, I would leave. But people don't understand, obviously, how psychologically abusive these people are in that oftentimes they seem like a nice guy for years and years. I know one example in my own family is guy seemed nice for years and then turned into a total terrible, terrible person and was horrifically abusive and stuff like that. But that came after they had children and that came when he was earning all the money and stuff like that, when they had a family together and they had a home and that just made it really hard to leave. And then you have, you know, them gaslighting you like you saw in this video to making you think you're the crazy one, making you think it's all your fault. You're ruining the family. You're ruining the marriage. It's you not being able to deal with this person who in your mind, you might've been gassed it enough that you think they they are fine and you're the problem. And like he was saying, one of those clips, you know, he's talking about her being emotionally fragile. And it's okay, you can be emotionally fragile. Like she is the problem in this relationship. And there are so many tactics that abusers use to make women think, and we're talking about women here, think that they are the problem and they deserve this abuse in some cases and they should be better to deal with this guy. Not that these people are just absolutely terrible, controlling, abusive pieces of shit. So for people's reaction like Keemstar to blame her at all is absolutely bizarre and insane. She is a victim. People who give her subs on Twitch, people who subscribe to her OnlyFans because she's single apparently, they're not victims. I don't know how you could even jump to that conclusion. Again, it's just misogynistic. It's just a hatred for successful people and sex workers and stuff like that, that Keemstar would even bring this talking point up. And then you have people thinking it's appropriate to make jokes this time. And why that troubles me so much is that it says so much about how they feel men are like, and they feel comfortable saying this. And that is a problem generally that if you hear stuff like this in your personal life, it's because that person feels comfortable saying it. And then you've got to ask yourselves, especially if it's like a friendship group, do you even want to be in that group where they think this is okay and this is funny? And obviously it says so much about the way people like Keemstar or those other people, who they associate with, where they think this is perfectly okay to not only say to one person, to not only say to a circle of friends, to broadcast yourself to potentially millions of people, these people are quite famous, like Keemstar's of course really famous, the other two have like thousands of followers on Twitter. And again, that's how confident you are 
that this is a really funny situation. And like I said, it's even more bizarre to me when we have loads of disturbing video evidence of this guy acting like an abusive piece of shit. So like I've been saying in the, throughout the video, it has been like a welcome surprise that I see a lot of support for Amaranth and generally the stuff against her comes from like more conservative people or just really like terrible people in general. But I have seen enough of the sentiment online of just people saying stuff about like Amber Heard and stuff. And that's why the whole thing kind of rubs me the wrong way with a lot of streamers now coming out and saying like, you know, we should support Amaranth and stuff. We should support her, which is all well and good. But then a lot of these people were grifting off the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard stuff, pretending they cared about domestic abuse, but at the same time helping the right wings, you know, whole war on Me Too, where now as a consequence, people just don't believe any women anymore. Even if there's evidence staring them right in the face, not controversial, horrible abusive man just abusing his wife on a live stream, you see the text, he controls the finances, and some people doubt it. Some people doubt that's an abusive situation right there. And I feel like these people just have some responsibility and should rethink how they even cover the Amber Heard stuff because even if they thought they cared about like male victims of domestic abuse, let's say, at the same time, they help push a narrative that basically all women are liars. And that is just something I have been, you know, rubbed a bit the wrong way with throughout all of this because I feel like if you're gonna support women and be consistent about domestic abuse, then these people wouldn't have covered this Johnny Depp thing and Amber Heard thing the way they did. So much so that people now say this is similar, this situation we've seen right now play out on Twitter. And I hope because it's such an extreme case, this isn't like a common thing that in an abusive relationship, your husband literally controls your life as the, basically the number one streamer on Twitch. But I'm hoping this outlines to people why people can't leave, why people just don't, you know, be as strong as you, the guy who commented that and just walk out and leave the relationship forever because that is so easy. I hope it makes people realize how psychologically manipulative people are and how in a lot of cases, especially with these abusive relationships, they control some part of their life and they will continually threaten them. And in a lot of cases with men who abuse women, they either threaten physical harm or carry out physical harm. And in so many cases throughout, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years, men end up killing their wives, men end up killing their partners. And that is a sort of fear that keeps people in really abusive relationships. And I'm talking about that as well from knowing stuff about my own family and how terrible these men can be. So I hope as another prominent case of abuse, some people who stream things, I hope they rethink a lot of their actions and I hope they rethink a lot of how they cover things because they've created an environment where women are increasingly not being believed. And I do wanna make a further video on this because Evan Rachel Wood is now being called the next Amber Heard with her allegations against Marilyn Manson. And I read a good article today that loads of prominent women are now being called the next Amber Heard. Even Angelina Jolie with all her new allegations against Brad Pitt, they're saying, well, you're Amber Heard as well. And I think this is a dangerous backlash to Me Too that has been rising and cultivated by conservatives and you know, useful idiots on Twitch like Asmund Gold have been helping to push this stuff and create this environment where women are not being believed, even in absolutely extreme cases with loads of evidence. So that is it for the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.